this is an interview with Travis Pastrana at Nitro Rally Cross. I wanted to quickly say apologies for the audio. I'm off to the racetrack this morning. It was noisy there, but you're going to enjoy it. It's uh, a cool insight in team. Thanks for joining Travis. It's a quick Q and A, I guess, just about you starting this electric uh, new electric series within Nitro. We've got the old IC yeah. cars here, which is an absolute monster. But I mean, initially, what, why Nitro? Why did you come up with this crazy series? You, you know, uh, Nitro Circus was basically motocross for the roll cage. I wanted to add some excitement. We did all of you know the crazy shenanigans with action sports, and we can get the crowd on our side. But racing's where it's at. I don't like judged events. I like to cross the finish line. So if we can take the excitement and the jumps um, to bring the crowd in, to bring the just the entertainment value up, and challenge the drivers, challenge the vehicles, um, you know, the fastest vehicles out there that we can possibly have, doing the biggest jumps that we can possibly do safely, uh, <laughs> or say, uh, safely, uh, safely, yeah. And then practice jumps. Yeah, and then you basically pull in the racing aspect and try to get you know the best drivers from all over the world and. Yeah. It's so cool to see that people just want to have fun. They want to be challenged. You got uh, you know, Kyle Busch from NASCAR jumped in and Chase Elliott. This is a series of some like, of the rally cross greats as well, isn't it? Mixing oh, it up. I dude, mean, just with the, the Hansons coming in is, is absolutely amazing. I was amazed at the start of the year coming to these events, sort of hearing about it. You're like, yes, it can be good. I raced motocross when I was younger, so I was all for this sort of setup. And you come in, what you've been able to achieve with the tracks and the, the drivers, it's been amazing, really, I think. Now, we, this year's been good. And we had to prove that the concept would work, that we could fly cars, that we could race head-to-head. -head. We always knew these things were designed for, weren't it? We always knew they could do these sort of things. We knew, but just visually, to show people that it could be done, now it's Nitro's job. we got to go sell this. we got to take this sport from right now. We're, we're a fun dirt sport, and that, that's awesome. Yeah. But next year, the year after that, we got to get some investment. we got to believe in ourselves. we got to basically put our money where our mouth is and say, look, we're going to take this part up. We're going to take the pits up. We're going to take the, you know, the paddock area. And with electric, we're going to elevate the level of the cars, the speed of the cars, and the future of what everyone's going for, for automatic manufacturers. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, we see this going electric. We've seen the FC1 car. It looks amazing. I mean, we love these old cars. I've seen this spit in flames and stuff. We like IC, but electric's going to be the way it goes. How do you feel, you know, Nitro's made that commitment to do that? What was your idea behind that? Why, why did you think this was right? You know, I definitely think uh, for the environment and everybody going green, I think that's great. But every other electric series has focused so much on that. We're Nitro. We're about making this stuff exciting, making it fun. And why I want to go electric is because they're the fastest, more, most torque, just most exciting vehicles you could possibly drive. But I'm, as a driver, I, I want to race the best. I want to race the things that are going to go the absolutely most insane around the course, and that's where electric coming. And I think that you, you've been in electric cars. Like, have you ever been in the Tesla? Just the speed when you, as a driver, I know the sand's not there, but the speed they go is crazy, isn't it? And you're definitely going to have your, your core motorheads. They're like, yeah. oh, I love the sound. You know, I'm a two-stroke fan, like it was motocross. Yeah, but and you, you, you miss smell the smell the speed. Yeah, you smell the smell. Just the, the two-stroke enough, you feel it all. But at the end of the day, if, when I, I was completely, my whole opinion was changed on electric when I saw the space shuttle take off <laughs> going up uh, Pikes Peak. And yeah, the record, Sebastian's low his record, who I thought would never be beat up there, with just this monster, you know, regular speed. Straight, through, straight through. And 40 seconds faster? Come on. I know. And I mean, I think the, the, the bit I, I'm quite enthusiastic with, there's a private driver here racing you today. It's, it's early now, it's 9 a.m., we're getting ready to race today. Obviously, we've got some teams like you race on Subaru, ma a mountain of wealth and knowledge within racing cars, which makes it harder for us smaller teams to compete. But... Electric, I feel for me, is a bit more of a level playing field. How do you feel about that on the competition side? Getting, you know, not rookies, but new people into the series and, and really hotting up the racing. You know, the racing is going to be the best in these next two to three years when all the platforms are starting the same. Everyone has the same vehicle. It's equal. Anyone that jumps in, regardless of your budget, if you come in, you have the vehicle, you have the same platform that everybody else has. And there's not a lot of knowledge on electric vehicles, especially with these you know, kind of like small SUV type of, of vehicles. Yeah. So we're all learning. And I feel like that's going to make it awesome. And obviously, as uh, everything starts progressing and the manufacturers start taking control of, of more and more of the vehicles, uh, you know, there's always going to be a competitive advantage to you know, the best teams. But right now, 
starting in 2022. It is going to be absolutely equal playing field, new courses, new uh, new everything. Yeah, and exactly. I think that's going to make it the most exciting season on the series on the planet. I think the vision with the jumps and everything, you, uh, that's the thing. I think we know as drivers loving these cars, to make electric exciting, you've got to have the jumps. You've got to have door-to-door -door racing. You've got to have the, the track like here. You're going to see it, obviously, this weekend when we race it. But the tracks have been, I think, amazing for an electric series. Uh, and, you know, that's one of the biggest things for, for Nitro Rallycross. We have to have more time at the tracks. We just, our budget normally comes from the Nitro Circus shows. And unfortunately, with, with the times we've been having with COVID, um, there's not a lot of, uh, and there's never extra money, but there's, <laughs> the budgets have been there's tough. More, yeah. The teams, you guys have all stepped up. Um, you know, even last night, we said, hey, look, we were hoping the sand was going to work. It's not going to work for yeah. making the racing the best. And we got one of the sponsors, Yokohama, steps up and says, you know what? Here, we need to, there's a championship round. Everyone believes in the vision, and I, I truly believe that this sport, in the next year to three years, is going to continue to evolve at a very fast pace. That's what I love about the Nitro Series. Just like you said, they'll go ahead, they'll change the track. We can give driver feedback, that curb's a bit sharp, and, and just and adapt it to what we need, really, which has been amazing. I, I want the best show. Obviously, as a driver, I, I want to do the best that I can. Yeah. Um, so it's been interesting wearing a couple hats, uh, but at the end of the day, I want the racing to be awesome, because if the racing's not great, then... We don't have a series, and I don't get to drive yeah. in years to come. Exactly. I want to be driving. And the sponsors don't want to come, and then people don't want to watch it. It's all part of the same thing, isn't it? I want a 50-car, supercar electric yeah, field, yeah, yeah. you know, in five years' time where everyone's Crazy going jumps. out with big and just the best tracks, and I think we can get there. Uh, I think we can. Well, thank you for your time, mate. I'm going to ask you. I've got a few questions off the fans. Oh, they yeah. asked in, so you don't have to answer them all. Um, but I'll ask a couple of the recent ones that have come in. And then we're off. What have, we've got some practice this morning, straight into racing today then, isn't it? So we're pretty quick. But the uh, question is, I guess I'll ask this one first. Will we see, uh, you know, the Nitro Series with the electric come to Europe? I, I'm not sure if you can so, say. I know a bit no, about it. But... 100% uh, the goal is, is to go to Europe. Um, you know, been talking to a lot of the, the, the tracks. Again, it's been a difficult time period when we needed to be over there uh, the last years and just haven't been able to get... Uh, to a lot of the different countries with uh, with all the, the stuff going on in the world yeah, right now. Exactly. But, um, you know, that's the goal. Our goal is to make this so, um, you know, we have a, 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 a 10 race series yeah, uh, where we have kind of like a, the lights uh, Supercross series. If anyone follows Supercross, you've got the East Coast and the West Coast. You know, you're going to have some people that are only going to do the U.S., some people that are only going to do the Europe. Then you have and kind of the, the, the overall yeah, championship. Like, and, um, you know, for us, the, the biggest goal is to be able to go with the best cars and the best drivers have the, the most exciting tracks and uh, you know we, we still want those one-off drivers to yeah, come exactly. in those chase elliott's those, yeah and just doing it some f1 guys you know this is gonna be awesome definitely definitely and i guess the, the one moving on from that one for me i would like to see do you reckon the uk could ever be on the list as a track the the uk is on the list for where we need to go yeah uh, it's uh, definitely a market that that we do well for nitro circus that i feel like the, the motorheads are and they've awesome. had x games there before i think did you um, have a nitro, they, a nitro circus there? We had a lot of O2 Arena. O2 uh, Arena, Arena exactly. Sell that place yeah. out. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, no, it, it's 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 amazing, and uh, it's probably one of the, it's a great rally area as well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, amazing for rally, for Wales Rally GB yeah. and all that. So, no, amazing. The last question is from my friend who I used to race motocross with. So he goes, "What was it like winning the 2000 Championship outdoor as a rookie?" <laughs> <laughs> The most amazing uh, moment of my life uh, to race all my heroes and, and to be able to have a chance to go and still be competitive at the last round. Won it by two points. The university at first and second is three. Uh, yeah. so it's just <laughs> absolutely uh, awesome here. Amazing. Now, well, thank you. I hope you guys have enjoyed a quick Q&A. We're off to race each other. We'll have a bet who's going to win. But remember to uh, subscribe to the channel, check out last week's race, and stay tuned for the next video. Take care. Thank you, mate. Thank you.